Hi, this is Manoj. Today I'm going to show you how to use app bars in your application. So basically there are two kinds of app bars. One is the top app bar and other is the bottom app bar. So I'll show you uh, a demo of how we will get in a top app bar. Okay, so you can see app bar when you right click on something Okay, on your application. So uh, on the top you can see an app bar here. Okay. So when I right click, the top bar, app bar comes even for the bottom app bar, it's the same. It's uh, When you click on the right button on your mouse, you get the bottom app bar. If you have both the app bars, that is top and bottom, when you right click, you get both. So apart from this, there is a, another app bar called customized app bar, which generally we don't use because it is not in the design guidelines. Okay. So I'll show you one more uh, app bar which is showing the demo of bottom app bar. So I'm taking the video app. So at the bottom you can see uh, the repeat button, previous button, play in the uh, app bar, uh, bottom app bar. So we have app bars because in Windows 8 it is more of information. Okay, it is more mainly uh, dependent on information rather than the design. So all these. Uh, previous or next buttons or any tabs which you will be finding in your application you don't directly find it on the screen rather you will be keeping all those things either in the top app bar or in the bottom app bar let's see how you can use our code in your application for app bars that is uh, I'll, I'm going to show you three app bars one is the bottom app bar one is the top app bar and another is a customized app bar which we don't use but for your information for general purpose I'll be showing you okay so this is a blank application which I took. <coughs> so I'll go to mainpage.xaml and I'll also open mainpage.xaml where we'll have all the design. So if you can see on the screen it's loading. Once it loads you can see a blank app page. Okay. So here we don't have any code written. This is the predefined code. Okay. So here in your instead of writing all the code better uh, you drag and drop the app bar you can see here. Okay. So drag and drop it. So once you go to your XAML you can see the app bar code. Let's see how it works. Uh, suppose I want to uh, have this app bar with height of 200 and width of 200 okay height equal to 200 and okay it also increases the font for you height equal to 200 width equal to width equal to 200 so let's keep a background suppose say background equal to allies blue okay when I when we execute let's see how it is coming this is the customized app bar neither it comes on the top neither it comes on the bottom okay so we don't have anything on the screen when you right click I have right click you can see the app bar so you can keep any controls of your choice in this app bar let's go to the bottom app bar or top app bar so if you want to have a top app bar just copy this okay so I'm just cutting so I don't want a customized app bar you can see something called slash grid and slash page here at the bottom of the page in between that write something like page dot top app bar if you are if you want top app bar I'll also show you how to keep bottom app bar okay it's page dot bottom app bar okay I've got my app bar here. I don't want to customize anything here. So I'm just simply deleting. Fine. So let's see. Let us keep something uh, in this app bar. Suppose I want to keep a button. Button content equal to click me. Okay. Yeah. I think this should do good. So when I right click you can see on the top click me is coming which is coming on the left I'll also show you if you want to keep it on the right what we have to do okay so you have two stack models one is for horizontal and it is coming on left by default and the uh, 
stack panel you have for horizontal alignment equal to right which comes on the right suppose say i'm just copying this okay in between this stack panel i'll keep keep this button code okay let me keep this as but uh, click me one or left and i'll keep this as click me right okay so let's see how it is coming <coughs> excuse me so you have two buttons one on the click me right and one is the click me left okay let's see how we can keep the bottom app bar it's uh, same as you are keeping here okay so i'll just copy paste this so that uh, we don't need to write the code again or drag and drop it again so paste dot bottom app bar and i'm keeping the code here okay so we have code for page dot bottom app bar and also code for page dot top app bar okay let's see how it is coming okay you can see two app bars one on the top and one on the bottom okay you can see the two buttons or the four all four buttons uh, in all the corners suppose say you also want to see the customize app bar which i suggest don't, you don't uh, use it but for a uh, general purpose and information i'll show you app bar i'm just copying i'll just keep it within the grid okay so what i'll do is again uh, to i'll just customize it as i have done before height equal to 200 width equal to 200 let's see how it is coming okay so you have in total six buttons customize the bar in coming in the between so you can also keep margins for the app bar if you want to place it somewhere else but if you want to show some but uh, message please don't use app bar because you have to right click always so better my suggestion use pop ups okay or message dialog for showing any information uh, if you want to uh, something like pop up okay so till now we have seen uh, what we have seen the code for customized app bar bottom app bar and top app bar okay you can find this code in my blog my blog is write the code.com it's www. write the code write the code.com and uh, please uh, leave comments and suggestions for better inf uh, information from me and thank you very much for watching